So let's, <clears throat> so let's talk about something you'll be hearing a lot of, and that is the sum of products. The sum of products. Let's let's see it in action very simply first. Sum of products. Well, uh, and operations are analogous to multiplication. So whenever you have a two input and a gate, you see the little dot on the end gate. That's your multiplication right there. So when you have A and B here, this becomes A and B. And of course, this is indicates a product. And if we're talking about products, then we're talking about this guy up here. So end gates, multiplication, products go hand in hand, or hand in glove. Good? Good. Now, what about the other guy? The sum business. Well, the OR gate is approximates addition, comma, summing things up. So let me get some fighting room here. We, we did this already. Let's get it out of the way. Well, let's get this guy up here. Whoa. So if you have yourself a two input OR gate of A and B, you'll notice on the device it'll be a little cross there, an addition sign. And so this will be considered A or with B. And OR and addition and sum go hand in glove. So this is the sum operation. Okay, so now we have an individual sum. We had a, we showed an individual products. When do you have a sum of these products? Let's say you had an AND gate over here with A and B on it. And what comes out of it? A and it was B. Now over here, you had a C and a D. Now it's also being anded together. What's the output of this guy? Well, the output of this guy is C anded with D. So you have two products here. Now we take these outputs and we put them into an OR gate. And put a plus sign here. Now what do we have? We have product here, we have a product here, and we're ORing them together. Wow. And the big question is, can I fit this onto this screen? Whoa, that's a big question. Now, I'm going to take the A and the B and OR it with C and D. This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. I'm not going to have enough room. So let's write three down here. It's A and it with B or with what? C and it with D. And here you have Oh, la, la, what do you have? You have the sum of products. The sum of products. What do you know? So, in the end, what is the sum of products? Well, it's a way of drawing something. I shrunk my circuit over here. It's a way of drawing something. What do you mean drawing something? What do you mean by something? It's a way of drawing logic circuits. Well, what kind of circuits? The combo circuits, the combinatorial circuits, the combo logic circuits. Oh, it's a way of drawing them.
Is that it? It's just a way of drawing combo logic circuits? Well, it's a conventional way of doing it. It's a conventional way of drawing these combo logic circuits. Huh. That's what sum of products is. Yes. That's what the sum of products is. It's a conventional way of doing this, doing these drawings. When they're combo logic circuits. Oh, I see. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for listening, and so long from Hoboken Gear.